Y254. Imagine. All right. Yes, welcome to our gospel interlude on Social Friday on Y in the morning. And the word of the day is Wastahili. Who better to explain this to us than Sarah Mutevia? Uh, Karibu Sana, our first guest of the day. Thank you so much. All right, your camera is number four. Just All introduce right. yourself, like how you like to be uh, to be introduced. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sarah Mutevia. I am a gospel singer. I have released my song, my first song. I released it three weeks ago. It's called Wastahili. Uh -huh. It's a gratitude song. It's uh -huh. a worship song. It's just a song that makes you feel closer to God and reflect on your journey uh -huh. up to where you are. All right, mm -hmm. so Wastaili is our word of the day. Yes. Uh, You're going to be our preacher, our guest preacher <laughs> of the day. Uh, okay. But before you give us the word of the day, mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can get into your, your, your background a bit. How, how did you get uh, to this point right here? Because um, I was made to understand you're, in, you're a journalist as well. Yes, I mm -hmm. am a journalist, but everyone knows that during this COVID-19 period, uh -huh. Uh, a lot of us have been not laid, uh, not, not fired, uh -huh. but we are not working. So uh -huh. I found myself with a lot of uh, time, my free time. The positions time. do not exist anymore. <laughs> the positions still exist, but uh, we are uh -huh. on unpaid leave uh -huh. uh, for now uh -huh. because half of the staff was retained at my place of work uh -huh. and the rest of us, uh, it only remained the essential staff. Uh -huh. So I found myself with a lot of work, on uh, a lot of time on my hands. Uh -huh. And I, um, I've always been a singer. I'm a worshiper. I lead praise and worship in my church. Mm -hmm. So with the time I found myself um, writing, I've always written, but it never really materialized to mm -hmm. anything. Now with the time I had, I just started... Um, I just started writing and I told my husband, my husband is a music producer, mm -hmm. I told him I think I'm ready to go to the studio mm -hmm. and just maybe... Just send him a shout out as well. Yeah, my husband is called Homezi Bosco, I love uh -huh. you very much, Nakupenda Sana, he's Rwandan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, he's from Rwanda. Yeah, he's but from Rwanda. But you're from the 254. I'm from the 254. All right. Yeah. Uh, there's this craze, Wanaume wa Kenya wamekimbia Rwanda. Is it? Same for the ladies. No, it, 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 was, it, it just it, it happens to be God's plan for me. God's we plan for met, you. I never even imagined uh -huh. I would marry someone from, from Rwanda, but uh -huh. we met and we fell in love. We had a lot of things in common uh -huh. and we've been married for over a year now. That's a beautiful ring he put Thank on your you. finger right there. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Shout out to him. Uh, uh, so that song Wedding Day that VDJ Khalifa played really took you places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It <laughs> reminded me of a year ago when I said I do. It was a beautiful day. I'll never forget. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so uh, you say you found yourself during this corona period. Yeah. Uh, and so many people have, uh, mm -hmm. have, have come out to say they've found themselves during this corona period. Yeah. And... Uh, some people have not found themselves yet. Is it too late to start? If somebody's no, watching us right now and uh, they they have not found themselves and one on a kill them to finding themselves, is it is it too late for them? It's never it's never too late to start. Uh -huh. And I think God has a time for everyone, and your time is coming. Just because you've not gotten there, it does mm -hmm. not mean that you will not get there. You will still get there. It's just timing. As long as you keep your faith and keep your eyes focused on Jesus, mm -hmm. you're gonna get there, and mm -hmm. your time is coming. Just keep believing in him and keep doing whatever you're doing whatever passion you have you mm -hmm. never know when you're gonna blow up and uh -huh. you never know when god is going to lift you up just keep using it because i've been singing for a very long time ever uh -huh. since i was very young and it is just now that i am beginning to put my my talents into into something that everyone can see but i have been doing it even in small spaces where nobody knows you uh -huh. you never know what's gonna come out of that right. and that's where gr you don't just wake up and become something the next day there has to be a growth process mm -hmm. there has to be some molding there has to be some learning so that you can have a story to tell there has to be some learning in yeah. the process yeah. learning is a is an integral part of this it's finding an integral yourself part of it all right i yeah. i feel that uh so the word of the day as we said earlier is wastai what does this word mean to you and why did it end up being the title of your first song Waswahili is, 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 is a Swahili word. As mm -hmm. we all know, it means you are worthy. And it's a verse in Revelation. It says, Waswahili mwana kondo The lamb who was slain for my sin, 
for my wholeness so that I can be whole again. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, thought about my journey and many other people's uh, experiences in life where you can just look back and say, if it were not for God, I would not be here. If it was not for his grace, I would not be here. So you look back and you say, true. It is only God that is worthy of my praise. peke And uh -huh. there is no one I can give credit to other than him. Therefore, I wrote, I wrote that song to say, thank you, God. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be praised. You brought me here. And if it was not for you, I would not be here. All right. That is deep right yeah. now. I've been listening quite keenly. Uh, yeah. If you missed any part of that, you can find it on YouTube sometime yeah. later. But that was quite deep. Mm -hmm. How is it working with um, your hubby in the studio? How, how is the experience like? It's amazing because he knows my strength and when I'm doubting myself, he mm -hmm. keeps telling me, you can do this. Mm -hmm. He encourages me a lot and mm -hmm. um, he also... Does he make fun of you sometimes? Uh, some, <laughs> not very much, not but very sometimes. much, but sometimes just uh, um, uh, for light moments. But uh, he's, he's, a, he's an amazing guy and mm -hmm. he's so much fun to work with. And he, uh, when, whenever I want to do a song, I've, I've done several other songs, but they're not out yet. They'll be out maybe. I'm releasing another one uh, two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. But uh, he connects me to other producers as mm -hmm. well. He tells me uh, so-and-so is better in this style than mm -hmm. I am. He's such a good, uh, just a cool guy. To sent from heaven. Yeah, heaven. sent from heaven. <laughs> perfectly for me. All right, I yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, uh, as... As a producer, is he open to working with other artists as well? He's in very the, open uh -huh. to So how can work. other budding gospel artists like you who have found themselves during this period get, get in contact with him after they listen to him? Uh, on music? my social media, I, my name is uh, Sarah Mutedia, Sarah, S-E-R-A-H. Uh -huh. Mutedia, uh, Mutedia, it's not Mutedia, it's uh -huh. Mutedia with a Y. With a y. Uh, they can uh -huh. find me on my, as well as on my emails, it's uh -huh. Sarah, SW1 at gmail.com. Uh -huh. And on social media, Twitter, I'm Sarah Mutedia, Facebook, I'm Sarah Mutedia, Instagram, Sarah Mutedia, you can just DM me mm -hmm. and we will work together for the glory of God. All right, uh, so the last two questions, mm -hmm. oh, uh, the last two questions are opinion-based. I'm okay. sorry for putting you on the spot it's like all right. this. It's, I'm uh, ready, I, I hope. <laughs> all right, yeah. so uh, we had a video in our, mm -hmm. in our new segment uh, mm -hmm. of uh, Rington. If you know Rington, a gospel artist. Yeah, I do Kenya. know Rington. Uh, it was yeah. talking about having uh, shoes worth 1.5 million. Okay. <laughs> as compared to... Uh, <laughs> His brothers were driving 200,000 shilling cars right. and another one driving uh -huh. a 1 uh -huh. 1.5 million car uh -huh. worth, uh, the same worth as his shoe. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. He says God has blessed him because uh -huh. he's doing the Lord's uh -huh. work. Uh, but there's a point where he said, mm -hmm. uh, this brother who's driving a 200,000 shilling car uh -huh. is doing the work of the devil. Cause, oh, he uh, said that? Yes. Okay. Akifanya kazi ya shetan. Because uh. this guy uh, was perceived as a gospel artist, uh -huh. now he's perceived as a secular artist because no, of okay. the people he's and working so. with okay. and whatnot. This mm -hmm. brother I'm talking about is Bahati, as you have seen his career curve. Uh, do you think it's in any man's position to say, so and so is doing the work of the devil, I'm uh, doing the work of the Lord? What uh, do you think about that? Uh, personally, I don't think I would say so and so is doing the work of the Lord. I don't know the conversation that they had with God. Uh -huh. I don't know their assignment. Uh -huh. I don't know why, what God told them to do. Maybe God told them to sing about love and encourage people. Uh -huh. I would only speak for myself. Uh -huh. um, whatever, if Rington is wearing a, a shoe one point of one point. <laughs> five million shillings uh -huh. and then and that is all good for him uh -huh. if bahati thinks that um uh, working in the secular secular space is what is really true to him and then i have i i don't judge and the bible says that we are not the ones to judge only god can judge and only and and only those guys understand their calling and their their aim in this industry so i would not say anything about that everyone right. is entitled I, I to I their like, opinion i like that you quoted the bible yeah. and the quote is only god can judge only god the can judge run. because we all we are not perfect everyone has their own flaws uh -huh. i would not say rington is this and bahati is this they're uh -huh. all different people 
uh, differently enabled, differently talented, and whatever they want to do is up uh -huh. to them. I, I, I have no part in it. I just all right, all right, wish them all right. the Thank best. Thank you very much for <laughs> yeah. that one as well. Uh, mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's finish this, and you can tell us, moving forward, yeah. you've told us your plans, you're dropping another song in two weeks. Yeah, in two uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. But moving forward, mm -hmm. what is a word of encouragement you can give uh, the, uh, the people who are watching us right now? There's a lot going on in the world. Yeah, there's a there's lot, a lot of politics in parliament. Mm -hmm. People are forgetting mm -hmm. uh, that uh, the revenue mm -hmm. <laughs> is being distributed mm -hmm. in parliament right mm -hmm. now as we speak. Uh, people are forgetting mm -hmm. uh, that COVID-19 is real. People are getting yeah, back to their normal yeah, lives. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot going on in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. uh, the economy is quite tight for many of us because mm -hmm. uh, people have lost their jobs. As you said, what is that word of encouragement that you can give the viewers right now moving forward? I just want to encourage you that your 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 story is still being written by the creator of heaven and earth so do not give up yet he is still he still has you in mind you are still going to make it your time is still coming and as for the covid 19 please just continue taking care of yourself the safety measures that have been provided for by the government wash your hands wear your mask even as we trust god to uh, protect us we also have to do our part you don't go and throw yourself into a fire and then mm -hmm. say that God is going to save me that just doesn't make any sense you have a part to play so please play your part and God is the only one who can protect us but we, uh, we can also do our part and uh, uh, like I said before just uh, feel encouraged that do not give up just yet there are times that in life you see uh, this life is defeating me I'm mm -hmm. not gonna make it but I just want to encourage you to keep uh, trusting in God and putting your faith in Jesus uh, if you're a Christian and whatever other uh, whatever else you believe in, just keep the faith, and uh -huh. God is going to hold your hand. Faith is the most important. Faith thing. is that the belief most without proof. Yeah, that belief without proof. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm you. going to be coming back to you, and uh, okay. you're going to do a simple uh, task for me. All right. You're going to, since you're a journalist like myself, yeah, uh -huh. you're going to introduce your song, and then you're going to tell people to check it out on YouTube. Oh, okay. And then you're going to tell them it's uh, it's premiering on White of Four for the first time. Yes. Well, yes, whatnot. Yes. Uh, just uh, collect uh, the thoughts in your head, mm -hmm. and then I'll be back to you. Are we right now? Fine. And uh, not right now. Oh, just okay. collect the thoughts, and okay. let me talk to the people a little bit. Okay. All thank right. You. So so yes, we are on Facebook as well at White of F1. And the question on Facebook is, uh, what is that crazy thing that your teacher did uh, when you were in school? That one crazy thing that you remember a teacher doing when you were in school. Uh, what's right for four? Come on, CC, we DJ Khalifa. <laughs> a lot went on in school. You can't miss a story if you went through the same system we went through. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to your views, your comments, uh, and suggestions as well. And request as it comes, it come. And uh, V DJ Khalifa, uh, just remind them how they can get a hold of your mixes because they are saying uh, Zimeshikamoto. All right, so that is VDJ Khalifa for you. He's going to be serving us music all the way till 10. We still have another interview. Don't forget, the Matrix is in the building. Uh, so, uh, Kwa Sasa, it's Sarah's time. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sarah Mutsevia. I have a song and it's called Wastahili, a song of gratitude, a song of worship, and it's on YouTube. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, it's Sarah Mutsevia. And right now it's going to premiere for the first time on Y254. It's called Wastahili. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. And then we'll be back with some more of Social Friday. Don't go nowhere, don't check the dial. Head straight to our Facebook and do the necessary.